Hi everybody, um, it's Jerry again, and I thought I would take this opportunity to talk a little bit about more about the clutter in your life and how it may be affecting you energetically. Um, we're at the beginning of spring, and springtime has always been a, been a time um, uh, for the deep spring cleaning. There's a reason things have accumulated over the winter. We've been inside more. Now it's a good time to open up the window, let some fresh air in, and we can utilize that and take care of that in other areas of our life too. And you know, we know that what we have inside, what we have in our surroundings, can affect all aspects of our life. Uh, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, economically, um, just, you know, physically, everything. So um, what I'd like to do is begin with something that maybe you haven't looked at in a while, is, is how do you communicate with other people? Um, when was the last time you changed the message on your cell phone or on the message in your on your telephone? Um, is that reflecting where you are now? Um, did you talk about maybe you were out of town and you know made some comment here or there? You know when was the last time you listened to it? Uh, same thing with emails. How many emails have you accumulated or even the messages on your um, on your um, your cell phone or on your regular answering machine if you still have one, have you cleaned them out? How long ago was it? Are you out down to the last couple of minutes on, you know, and do you have enough room for new messages? So it's a good time to clear those things out. It's also a good time to clear out some of your email messages. I don't know about you, but I know I have a tendency to just kind of keep adding, not going in there, cleaning them out, getting rid of them. Also, maybe it's a good time to rethink, you know, who are, what newsletters or what messages have you um, signed up for? You know, do you want to continue that relationship? Is it time to go and clean some of that out? Are you getting too many messages in your email accounts? And have you separated them? This might also be a good time to separate between personal email and business email because so many of us are communicating on that level. So communication, if we clean that out, um, this would just be a, a really good time to look at some of that too. And if you feel that there's something that's really um, that you want to hold on to, perhaps you can write yourself a note, or you can make another recording of it somewhere if it's for sentimental reasons. But you know, I for the most part, you probably don't need them, so it would be a good idea just to you know just let them go. Um, and the same thing you can do with. Um, uh, how about your health, you know, for your health? Now, the kitchen has all always been uh, representing for, and we're talking about some of the feng shui, feng shui and energetic principles here, there too. This is a really good time to clean out your kitchen, you know, um, your kitchen cabinets. Look at some of the expiration dates uh, on some of the canned goods, some of the other goods. Are there things that you know you're never going to use that are still viable that you may want to give away? You know, there are plenty of kitchens, food kitchens and things like that in everybody's community that is more than happy to take those things. And if you've had something on your shelf and the expiration date is getting close to something, to getting close and you know you're really not going to use it or maybe it's just time to let it go, you can, you can get rid of it that way too. I have a couple of notes here because I want to make sure. Um, uh, so if you you know want to improve your health, go through your kitchen, rethink it, relook at it, and see you know what's what there. Um, and then I'm going to just touch on one more thing because I don't want this to go on for too long. I want to just give you three ideas that you can take and run with and you know we can go on to some other ideas so we've talked about communication we've talked about how your health and well-being so look at your kitchen you know so you want to look at your at your messages and how you communicate and how you can be more effective there uh, we looked at your kitchen and to say you know really take stock of what you have how you can clean it clean out the refrigerator clean out the freezer clean it out um, wipe it down, bring some new things in. And how about um, the energy just in having an empty space? Do you have an empty space? You know, if you're caught in a rut and, um, and you, you're really feeling a little stuck somewhere, can, you know, when was the last time you looked at some of the drawers? Like, it, let's say in the drawers in your kitchen, you know? How, what about that junk drawer? How full is your junk drawer? So, um, how about taking your junk drawer and just, you know, purging? 
getting rid of some of the stuff that you don't need, something that's really unruly. Just dive in there, clean it out, and you know what? You'll find that this will help motivate the energy and to, and to move things around. Now, um, you want to throw away um, things that you don't need and that cannot be useful to someone. And if you have things that you ha want to get rid of, um, there's a wonderful service called FreeCycle, and most communities have it. And they have a bulletin board, and you can uh, give it away if you don't have a good, uh, Goodwill close by or um, Salvation Army or something like that. And you'd be surprised at how many people are looking for some of the things that you have that you know are of value, that you have no desire to sell, you don't have the time, you don't want to, but you know that it's a unique kind of a thing that somebody may want. And Free Cycle is a wonderful service. I've used it. Um, I found a wonderful home for my piano, an old piano we needed to upgrade. Um, I taught, my all my kids learned on it, had a lot of memories, and it was wonderful. It ended up going to a homeschool family. I homeschooled my kids, and they were thrilled to get it. So anyway, I hope this helped. Um, three places that you can clean out in your home. Uh, do some spring cleaning. It's a great time. It will change the energy in your life, um, even in a small way. It'll feel really good. And um, I'll come back to you soon because there's more places that we can uh, we can get in and, and do some more changing and more and more clearing. And you'll find that it will make an impact on you. Have a wonderful day. Be well and take care.